hard on yourself. What do you want? I want to talk to you. Why? Do you want to blackmail David? What? Oh, well, I know that he fired you. Do you want to use me to get back at him, make me feel that I am his mistress? Mistress? <laughs> yeah, you laugh. Why is that so funny? Because it's untrue. You're a refugee from St. Carlos and David. And you coming. are ridiculous. Oh, stop! No he stop this game! You. Stop this game! You're just wasting time. I know that he he got you into Canada, and now it's obvious that you're going fiction. back to your own. Fiction. This is all fiction. Fiction. Does the name Jorge Diaz sound like fiction? Oh, and another name comes to me, Margarita. That will be profitable for both of us. Are you calm enough to discuss it? Are you going to level with me and sit down and be quiet? Are you here on behalf of the Security Bureau? If you cooperate with me, no. But if you continue to cause me trouble, yes. I'll have to bring them in on this. All right. Sit down. I will hear what you have to say. Very good. good. Now, I understand that David Rinaldi is in New York selling jewels for you. Is that right? Paul, is there any truth to the rumor that over a hundred million dollars was smuggled out of the country and is hidden with Cuadero's family? No, I figured that. Might be some truth to it. I don't know if the figure's correct. More like just a lousy million instead of a hundred million. And what do you think it is, Asa? <laughs> Guerrero almost starved to death as a kid. Uh, let me put it this way, Vicky. He is not fond of poverty. So it's probably a lot more than just a lousy million. Ah, uh, Clint, uh, don't quote me on that. I don't want to add any more terrorists to the state scouting for that family. Well, the money belongs to St. Carlos, doesn't it? I wouldn't know, but I know one thing. The money from my refinery belongs to me. And you figure there's no way you can make a deal with the rebels? Are you kidding? Guerrero was my man. That's why I was able to operate down there all these years. Did he get a percent of your profits? No comment. Well, aren't we going to get any details on the deal, Pa? No, and I'll tell you, this is making me very, very nervous. I feel like looking over my shoulder, maybe hiring a bodyguard. Excuse me. Hello? Yeah, Clint, this is Chuck. Oh, Chuck, uh, you looking for Asa? Yeah, is he there? Yes, hold on. Well, I hope this is good news about Well 79. Yeah, Chuck. Well, I hate to bother you, but you said you wanted to know if uh, any news came through about the drilling. What is it? Well, they're folding. The engineers have given up. Oh, damn. Well, it hasn't looked good for a while. We both know that. Well, you tell my staff to put it in high gear, looking for other probable sites. The way it's going, the world is going to run out of becoming oil in a few years. Another revolution in South America, I'm going to be begging the Saudis to heat my home. Oh, come on now, Ace. It's not quite as bad as that. Not quite, but close. See you later. More bad news? Oh, they gave up on the site. It's two dry holes in a row. I hope that is not a trend. Paul, I know you're, uh, you're eating a big loss down there, but, um, you're not in real financial trouble, are you? Well, I tell you, we're not going to have to cut down on Drew's paddling just yet, but, yeah, I, some of Parr's profits have been put into other ventures, and it's, it's like a ripple effect. It takes months before the results are clear. Anyway, uh, any more questions about the general, God rest his soul? No, nothing you seem willing to answer anyway. Good, because then I'm going to go home and I'm going to play with Drew to perk up my spirits. I haven't seen him in about a week. I expect he's changed a lot in that time. Growing great. I told Becky Lee you better put an IV bracelet on that kid. Some days it doesn't look like the same boy. Serious. <laughs> you still look like his father? Well, I don't know. It kind of looks like Becky, but who knows? Anyway, you two take care and come visit any time and give my love to Joey and Kevin and tell them I'm sorry I missed them. Oh, they'll be sorry, too, and give our love to Becky. Are we going to see you at the tea tomorrow afternoon? Tea? 
tea? Yes, the tea, the Vernon Inn. Oh, Brad, you're a little she-she, huh? Uh, probably not. You two stay put. I'm on my way out of here. Bye, Paul. Bye. Do you know, it seems to me he really does love his new family. Yeah. I'm a little worried about his empire, though. He could be in for a setback. I wouldn't worry about it too much. I'm quite sure that he could find something else if he needs to make himself a few more lousy million. Well, sooner or later, hey, the, uh, the details on that deal are going to come through. The one with Guerrero. I mean, the rebels are going to be going over those treasury books and what's left of them. You think your father could be in any danger? Well, there's no telling. I mean, he, there's a lot of bitter feelings down there. There's no, no way to know what some fanatic might decide to do. You know, as journalists, this puts us in rather an awkward spot, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, what have you decided about uh, Scott Edgar? I haven't decided. Actually, I need to talk to you about that. I have a lot of reservations about giving him the job as music critic for the banner. Very slowly, you will walk over there to that closet. If you make one false move, for your own profit. They have no loyalty for me. Why should I have any for them? Now, what about it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let me rephrase the question. You will do exactly as I tell you, or I will become political again and turn you in with David Rinaldi. I will not betray my people. If I give you that money, people will die because they have no medical supplies. Then don't push this too far. At the moment, I am willing to leave you with half. I will not do it. A minute ago, I talked about Jorge Diaz. I know that he's in the rebel camp at Redosa. I have associates there with one phone call. I can have him killed. I can have your mother picked up. No. No, leave them out of it. It's up to you. You give me no choice. That's right. Here's my phone number. You call me the moment David brings you the money. Oh, one other thing. If anything, anything should happen to me, Jorge Diaz and your mother will be killed immediately. So don't try and double-cross me. Oh, cheer up, Ava. You're getting what you want, I'm getting what I want. It's only fair, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 